welcome to Christian Adventure Gamer. I'm your host, Daniel the Paladin. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing these Founders Edition of an Age Contrived. Just got it in yesterday. And uh, I did have an opportunity to actually play this game back when it was still on Kickstarter. Someone brought it over and I actually was attempting to do a video of it. However, uh, I was running into a lot of computer problems at that time and so I was unable to salvage the video, unfortunately. Uh, so I hope to do another playthrough of this. Uh, as I learn it and play it. Well, let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, All right here we go. I'm gonna get a knife. Hopefully it just means there's a lot of packaging in it. Ooh, look at that. Welcome to a new age. Oh, wow, that's a big box. Okay. Okay, that's, I have to stand up for this one. Ah, it says uh, metal coins go here. Uh, lift. It's a puncture, shrink, wrap, lift here. Okay. So that. That's a uh, That's my like it. So there is a, an ad infinitum. Hmm. Interesting. Lots of cardboard. This is packaged really well. Very, very solid artwork here. Nothing too glamorous, something very simple. I like it. So here's the back of the box. That's nice. It's really heavy. Oh my goodness. Anything else in here? I'll go ahead and take this off just to make sure. All right, and so we have an age contract game. Uh, the mechanism here uh, and the expansion, right? So let's go ahead and open. Ooh, what do I open? What do I open? Um, uh, let's open up the game first because it's awfully heavy. <clears throat> yeah. All right. This is by Bellows Intent. Which is someone I think that actually worked for Panda, um, the, pan the game company that actually makes a lot of the components for the games that you play. Uh, and so they knew a lot of, about the industry and the ins and outs of components, so it really helped them. And obviously they had connections with Panda, so it actually said Panda on the box. Panda Game Manufacturing. Uh. that. I put foam in it. Alright, so let's switch to the other camera. Alright, so there's that foam piece. There's the rule book. I'm not liking how much free space is in this box. I like it when everything is snug in there. Alright, so we have the age control rule book. Very, very simple looks like. Nice, I like that. We have a solo rule book. Looks like there's some stickers here, so I'm guessing there's something that needs to be fixed. This is the an age contrived player aid. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these stickers in this little baggie so I don't lose them. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five player aids. Like little booklets, actually. So that's kind of neat. Then we have this deploy pool. Interesting. More stickers, it looks like. Why do I have so many stickers? I wonder if there was something that was messed up. But then we have, oh my goodness, all this. Oh. We actually have the tiles here. Ooh, these must be done by game tricks. Um, interesting. That goes there. I have an extra lid. I'm sure that was not intended. I don't think that goes anywhere. Extra lid there. Um, I'm guessing it goes like that, maybe? So that's kind of interesting. I got two extra lids. I have a uh, first player marker. Look at that.
Fancy, fancy. I have these. These are the metal divine wind tokens. Ooh, I like those. I like those sound. Well, that's cool. One thing I don't see is how to put everything in the box. Um, so we have some here. Bolts and chits, looks like. It'd be nice if they actually had something to hand to each player. Uh, what's this? Uh, Aeron. So this is the uh, different. Uh, well, obviously they're for the players. Characters. I don't know if that's the right terminology for this game. There it is. I figured that was going to happen because the way it was on there. Oh, not bad. It's all in quality. Alright, so we have Aeron, uh, Freyleth, Frey Frey Ignotus, Altenic, Rusne. We have some exhausted pool. So these are actual cards here. And we have uh, Iran, Freyth, Ignatus, uh, Multanic, and Raz Rosne. So there's five characters there, obviously. Um, so let's go ahead and take all this out. Okay, so that's. So here's one. Oh, okay, that's why there's extra lids. Okay, that makes sense. So two extra lids for the two extra trays. Well, here's an extra tray. So I'm, I'm sure that there's a reason for all these. So I get. I bet this goes to the other side because it, it would make no sense almost to have something. This does not connect. So well, let's go ahead and take this out. Make sure there's nothing under the box. Nothing hidden. And so it's kind of weird to see an actual tray with miniatures on it attached to the actual bottom of the base. But here it is. Little dragon guy. I like that. That's awesome. I like all the different colored bases. I'm going to probably paint these. They look like they're, they've been washed, but I think I'd rather paint them. Giant. And the tree dude. Just a broccoli head. Alright, so my assumption is that this will go here. This should be five trays. I'm missing for five players. like Azul quality tiles. A lot of tiles there. So I'm just going to stick those in the bag for now. If I figure out how to divide those up, yeah. we've all hooked up. And this doesn't say anything on the back of these. So I'm kind of wondering what these all go to. Because there's no instructions. Alright, then we have the tile pack. <clears throat> Everything kind of just 
Come on in here. So we have a the great tree, I believe it is. World tree. So as you can see here, the tiles go on there. That pops up pretty easy. And then here is the score pad. Double sided, good. Hopefully uh, there's enough pads there though. <laughs> So I can see this game getting a lot of play. Oh, there we go. Ugh. Here is the game board. I'm going to have to switch camera views. I got to show you the inside of the lid, too. I love this. That's awesome. I almost want that as the cover versus what I got. So it kind of shows you on the back of it where everything needs to go when you set up. But here, let's show you on the overhead. All right, so it shows you here where, where the monuments go. And let's go ahead and flip this over. As you can see how beautiful this board is, how big it is. So your tiles that come up here, I believe, I can't remember if there is things that lay here, but the tiles are up here, and this is where you take them from. And then you're placing them in various places, obviously, or using them on your character board. And as they rotate out, you basically kind of change what kind of actions you can do. And then I believe this other box has a mechanism where it pops it out and shoots it out. But yeah. That's awesome. So we have the uh, Orion Freyleth, or Freyith, Ignotus, which is the dragon. Double sided. Ooh, 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 it'll pop out way a little, a little too easy. I didn't expect that. Okay. So I'll just these off to the side. We have the boards here. The wind tiles, which I don't have, need these, I believe, because I have the metal ones. We have some more boards where the tiles go. They're obviously tiered. And these look like maybe that's where the stickers might go. Interesting. I wonder if the stickers are supposed to go in the. No, I can't. I'm going to say maybe it goes in the back, but I'm looking at the sticker and it did not fit that, so that's weird. Okay, then we have this here. I can see them possibly going here. Because there's nothing really there. Mm, who knows? I fill out obviously. Some more. Nice. Some more monuments. I might have to figure out if I can put it together and keep it together because I hate to keep taking things apart and putting them together. Nice. Right? I love these bright colors. Alright. I wonder if these are the components for the uh, player boards or the trays or whatever. Because I got the bigger ones that to use versus these. Sure. And stuff just falls out way too easy. <laughs> one? Interesting. Oop. There's some laying here. I wonder if this goes to it. Maybe. It would be uh, weird that it would be out of sync like that, but it is what it is. Another monument. Looks like a gate. Alright. And then cardboard. And so that's everything. Ooh, that's magnetic because it's sticking together. See that? I'm thinking that's what they do to keep everything stuck together. It's using magnets. So that's cool. Let's do that one more time. Okay, that's cool. All 
Alright, so let's go ahead and set this aside. Alright, so let's do the uh, ad infinitum. Repeated play pack. Different languages. Uh, let's say here. This expansion adds new variability to the core game of age and age contrived. It can be used to balance out the learning curve for new players, add an extra challenge for experienced players, and add game to game variations and higher stacks for groups that play regularly. It can accommodate any combination of player of players entering, exiting, or re entering your game. Hmm. So it's not like once the game started, no one can join, so this allows people to join. Ages 12 and up, 9 to 120 minutes. Uh, look at that. Play pack. Components. Different languages. Ink. More languages. More languages. More languages. So we have components here. Interesting. This is pretty solid here. Very thick. And it has a magnet in it. We have whatever this is. Hmm. What's to say that is? That is the one Pantheon log sheet. Interesting. Uh, achievement tokens and then 16 advancement tokens. We have four trophy pieces. That's what these are Here so those are the advancement tokens and we have the six infinitum benefit tokens, which are these tokens here Interesting. All right, so the thing I really want to get into is this big box over yonder and it says metal coin goes here shrink wrap lift here when I'm lifting there then what okay QR code assembly instructions at so this gives you a QR code for your assembly instructions okay Definitely gonna take some assembly. I'm not gonna take out a bunch of stuff because I don't wanna lose anything. But this is part of one of the uh, components that basically spring load and shoot out. It's like a it's got the toy factor into it. That you shoot out the tiles. So I'm gonna have to figure out how that's assembled. What's this? More components, there's some springs. Like a three impact. Interesting. So, why does it say coins go there for? I'm supposed to get wet metal coins? Because I didn't see metal coins other than the air coins I got. So, this, yep, there's a the player board. That's how big the player board is. It's pretty wide there. And so we have things that will shoot up those tiles. Right, so cardboard here. Okay, so there's enough for five player boards here. That's what that is. Okay. Looks like I got some assembly to do. Alright, well, I'll set that aside for now. Alright, so 
right, well, that is me unboxing everything that came in the age uh, in age contrived by Bellows Intent. So hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, I will show a video once I get all the mechanisms together for the player boards. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a video of me figuring out how it works. It's because it would be a lot of editing. But the finished product, right? And maybe once everything is in the box, too. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in. See you guys next time. Mm -hmm.